Hey guys, it's me Maddie, aka Freaky Bulldozer, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today we are doing the first unboxing of 2020, and the first, well not the first, technically not the first unboxing, because I did one of those already, but my first book haul of 2020. I don't do book hauls like last year, I did one book haul, it was in January, um, so I don't really do book hauls, but I would like to get into it, but this year I don't think I'm going to be buying as many books as I usually do. Because A, I'm homeschooled the entire year, so I don't have like the end of the quarter, if straight A, 60 books, like $60 worth of books. I don't have that um, since I'm homeschooled. So that's uh, a hundred, <laughs> that's um, $240 that I won't be spending on books this year. Wow. Whoa. Um, but yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing, like, I'll be buying as many books this year, which is fantastic because I need to read. I have a lot of books on the shelf that are still need to be read. Anyway, so today, yes, like I said, we're doing a book haul. I have one book that I got in December, and the rest I got in January. I just wanted to do January, but I really wanted to talk about the one I got in December, so, hmm. So without further ado, let's talk about some books because that's what we do here. December, I was go we got it off Amazon. I saw it at Walmart like a few days before, and I instantly wanted it purely because of how beautiful it is. And that is the tale, a tale, a tale of magic by Chris Colfer, who is a best-selling author of The Land of Stories. This is all I know about this is it's a middle grade, and I have just I've only read the back expert. Um, and it sounds like it's like a middle grade about these kids going to an academy to learn magic. It sounds super enter entertaining, and that's all I know about it. I could be completely wrong on what it's about, but it sounds pretty intriguing. And this is a book I bought purely because of the cover. I don't know if I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. I bought this book because of how beautiful it is. And you know what? Probably looking at it, you're just like, it's not, it's not super pretty. Like, it's a gorgeous, like, cover, but it's not, like super pretty and you know what you would be correct the reason I bought this book is because when you take off the dust jacket you're not ready it's so pretty look at this it is an entire landscape on a book so this is the um like undercover dust jacket and it is so pretty it's got so many details and it's just it's just gorgeous and this is the entire reason why I bought this book okay so now we're gonna finally get into January book buys I bought all of these books in January I'm filming this February 1st if you're not seeing it to like the third Monday of the month so like I don't know what day that is I don't know but it's been it's gonna be a while since I filmed this when you guys finally seen it so I bought this book the first Saturday of January we went to Barnes and Noble my mom and I did and while there I got a lot of books that I wanted to read and buy and have on my shelf but this is the only one I bought because it's cheaper at the store than it is on Amazon and that is Kingdom of Exiles by Maximum M. Martin I don't know how to say his name exactly his or her name, I don't even know what gender the author is. I feel so bad. I know nothing about the author of this book. And I don't know where it's going to tell me. So I bought this book because I saw it on Kingdom of Masses. Instagram page, her story, she got it for like a free copy, um, and I was instantly intrigued because of the title, Kingdom of Exiles. Um... It sounds pretty good, and so when we were at Barnes & Noble and I saw this book on the shelf, I instantly picked it up, and if you guys don't know what this book is about, it's about this girl named Lena Eden Free Freel? And she can tame the real magical beasts that inhabit her world. Um, and then she's falsely accused using magic to charm a human. And she's exiled and forced to sell her beloved beasts to survive. And that's one of the characters. And then Nock is the realm's deadliest hunter. And he's sent to find her. So it sounds like a little bit of like enemies to lover romance. I don't know. It has magical beasts in it. It sounds super good. And I'm yeah. I'm super excited to this book, and this is like also this is like 500 pages, and the other one is like a little over 500 pages, I think. So um, I got B 
big books this month. Don't know when I'm going to get to read a thousand pages, but you know what? We'll figure it out. I just, I really like this book. I do really want to read this book. Um, out of all the books, this is currently my most anticipated one. I do need to finish series, but I'm super excited to read this book. And yeah. All right, unboxing time. I just got these books from Amazon. They put them in my mailbox. Um, and the, the, they put them in, they put a box in the mailbox. You figured out how, how that one worked. Anyway, so let's unbox it. I love doing boxings. So, only one of these books is like YA fantasy. I think you know if Exiles is YA, I'm not like a hundred percent sure, but I think it's YA. And so the rest of these books are all middle grade. And I have a reason for that. I didn't just buy middle grades for the heck of it. Um, I bought them because in NaNoWriMo, this is just like a, because I have this idea for a middle grade and I really want to write it, but I'm waiting till NaNoWriMo to write it and it's a middle grade. So I've been reading middle grades this entire year. I'm going to be rereading middle grades, reading middle grades for the first time that I've never read before. So I can like understand the style of a middle grade because middle, writing middle grade is very different than writing YA time travel stories like that so right so let's just, the first one in here is Artemis Fowl by Aaron Colfer wait are y'all related somebody should tell me if Aaron uh, Oin Yoin if Yoin and Chris are related, because they have the exact same last name, so I don't know. But this is the first book that's in this box, Artemis Fowl. I want this book because, obviously, look at this cover. Look at this cover. It's so pretty. This is also, this is like a book that I, I bought this book because, I mean, look at this cover. It is so gorgeous. Yes, I don't know what this book is about. Um, I think it's like a soon to be a major motion picture from Walt Disney Studios. So my boys at Disney are adapting this into a movie and it kind of matches the wall. So yeah. So of course I'm going to read this. It seems pretty short too. So anyway, let's read what it's about and figure out what this book is about. I will be, I'm going to read this book before I see the movie. <clears throat> Stay back, human. You don't know what you're dealing with. Twelve-year-old Artemis Fowl is a millionaire, a genius, and above all, a criminal mastermind. But even Artemis doesn't know what he's taking on when he kidnaps a fairy, Captain Holly Short of the Leap Recon Unit, the L.E.P. Recon Unit. These aren't the fairies of bedtime stories. These fairies are armed and dangerous. Artemis thinks he has them right where he wants them, but when they stop playing... By but then they stop playing by the rules. So it sounds pretty good. It's got fairies in it. It's a middle grade. It's going to be turned into a movie. I'm excited for this. It's also super pretty. So, yeah, it's kind of like lumpy. It's kind of lumpy, and I don't know if I like that, but it should write itself out on the bookshelves. Okay, the next book, this is so freaking pretty. The next book I got is The Star Spun Web by Sinead Ohart. I don't know if I said her first name right. Um, yes. I saw this on um, Al Crate's YouTube channel. They were like unboxing like December's like book box. And this was on here and it sounds so intriguing. It's another middle grade. Um, and yes. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, I know this one is like some, I guess I'll just read the back because I know what it's about, but I don't know what it's about. Because like I know, I, I remember like what the person said, but I don't remember like the, like, like how to say it. Anyway, so Tess D. Souza is now ordinary orphan. When a wealthy stranger appears at the Ackerbee's home for the lost and foundlings claiming to be her relative, she embarks on a new life with him. She takes nothing more than her pet tarantula, Violet, and a strange device that she, she was left as a baby. But far from providing... But far from providing answers to Tess's mysterious past, it becomes clear that her guardian's interest in her is part of a terrible plan, with a future of more than one word 
world at stake. It's up to Tess to stop him. Sounds so good. Super pretty as well. I mean, book covers are just fantastic and they're so gorgeous. And so, yes. And then the final book on here. It's so cute and it's so short. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so excited. The final book in the box. Weird Little Robots by Carolyn Crimmie and it's illustrated by Coraline Lim. Lincoln. I'm sorry, I don't think I said her name right at all. But look at this! Oh my goodness, look at this, guys, it's so cute! Oh, look at this! And look at the illustrations on the back. Oh my goodness, this is so cute! So, oh my goodness, is this a chapter book? Because. <gasps> There's illustrations! <laughs> I also saw this on Al Crate's YouTube channel, and I didn't know it was gonna be like this short and this like long and this like what? Oh my goodness! I love this. Okay, so um, oh and look at it naked. Look at that, guys. Isn't that so pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. So let's. I don't know what to say about this one because I know it's the, about about a girl named Penny who moves to a new town, I'm pretty sure, and she ends up getting into a robot club. And that's all that I knew about it when I asked to have it. And then, while waiting for the books to come on Goodreads, I read the synopsis more and I found out that the robots come to life, supposedly. Penny Rose is new in town with... The, with only the robots she creates for company, but with a little bit of magic, everything changes. She becomes best friends with Lark, has a chance to join a secret science club, and makes the amazing discovery that her robots are alive. Penny Rose hardly remembers how lonely she used to feel, but a faithful misstep means that she'll have to choose between the club she's always dreamed of and the best friend she's always hoped for. In the end, it may be her beloved little robots that pay the price. It sounds so cute! This sounds so adorable and so cute, and it's so cute, and it's so short. Oh my goodness, how did I say cute? I don't know, but this is so cute. Ah, um, <laughs> obviously, as you can see, out of all of the books I got, this is the one I'm most excited for, for some reason, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's got, like, cute little, like, illustrations in it. It's got cute little illustrations in it. And it looks so cute. I'm so excited for this. But I'm going to have to save it for like a 24 hour read a song because I really want to do one of those. And it seems like super short. Oh my goodness. This is a. Oh, look at these. These are adorable. I love this. This is like so. Not, oh my god. Look at this one too. Oh my golly golly. 234 pages. So it's a pretty short book and it's super adorable and yes yes wow I spent like five minutes talking about this one book obviously we can tell which one's my favorite another reason I got so many middle grades is because I really want to do like my top like my top 10 top five middle grade recommendations and while I've read at least five of them I don't want to just make a video on five because I read five, I would like to have more to choose from. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos every single Monday. And if you would like to comment on something about this video, um, there is a link in the description box to a Google form where you can comment. It has how it explains how to do it or how I would prefer you to do it um, on the form. So yeah, any comments, go down there. Anything you'd like to say, go to the comments, the description box, and yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you guys all in my next video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys. Time my head.